G'day YouTube, uh, my name's Rick. Um, come out here too late in the day, it's about 8pm here, uh, and I'm inspiration struck and I thought I'd do this video for you to show you some of my um, walking trails here in Victor Harbour. We're at the uh, Hindmarsh River Trail at the moment, I'm going to show you the circuit, and just all the nice and lovely bits so you don't get lost and you can come down and see it for yourselves. So here's a picture of the trail. It says we are, uh, I think it comes in here. So we're gonna go on the outs other side of the river, and then come back along here, we're gonna scoot down, something like that. Okay, if you can hear me over the birds, this is our starting location. Alright, down we go. And here is the Hindmarsh River. If you're interested in uh, combining kayaking and limbo, I suggest you come to the Hindmarsh River. Just past the bridge now, coming past the primary school of Victor Harbour. School's out obviously, end of the day, all the kids go home to annoy their parents. All right, just uh, coming towards the end of the school, and we hit our first roadblock. Um, something that might deter you from doing the circuit, at least. On this side, they got a big old set of wooden stairs you got to climb up. So, so uh, yeah, looks like fun. Let's go. Oh, made it. We're getting towards the view. We'll get a better one up the top here. follow this path around here don't go left go right come past a pretty cool old building very nice very nice mansion and on our right starting to get a nice view over the valleys okay Hindmarsh River Trail. Not far past the mansion house. We're up the top. We're on a residential road. We've got to go this way. Yeah. This is where the trail ends till we're back on the other side of the river again. Oh, just coming down that residential street up the top of the hill. A very nice view. As you can see, like I said earlier, it's 8pm. The sun's setting. So hopefully I can get this video done before it gets dark. It's not a very long trail. I'll probably be doing about five kilometers. So yeah, we'll get a wriggle on. The beach is past that hill there. Let's keep going. Just some more of them views. It's very pretty. You can just see the ocean through the middle there. So we're coming up to our first interesting puzzle. I got me confused and I got lost the first time I come out here. Um, finding which ways the trail continues. Now I followed that Acacia Road sign because as you can see there's not much markings but that just goes to a private property so don't go that way. The trail actually goes up here believe it or not so this is the right way. I'll just go in a bit so that you just can confirm that. You can see it just goes past these houses here and we'll go up onto Wagon Road, Wagoon Road, whatever it, it's called. Whew, I get to stop jogging for a bit. Okay, so you come past this little sign here. That's obviously, it says it's private property, so don't go that way. You just want to keep going this way. It's not that far up. It's about 100 meters, if that. Okay, we're at the top of that hill finally. As you can see, Probably can't see actually. I'm doing alright. Sweating, I'm a bit puffed. 
I don't know why I had to run up that hill, but I think it's because it's getting dark and I want to get this video done. So at the top of this hill, of Yala Dula Road, we come out and we've got to go right. Got the sign over here. Nicely hidden, nice Easter egg. So you want to go down this way next to the camp to get back onto the Hindmarsh River Trail. Here's a bit of that camp. Looks like people are actually using it at the moment. Kids are having a ball. Nice little art on the side of the walls. On this side, it's got a thick scrub. So you can't go that way, that's for sure. So just straight down this hill. Let's go. Oh, I just wanted to stop and see if I could get the sky in. As I said, the sun's setting. It's just really pretty. Let's keep going. So as you can see, get people out here hiking, biking. It's pretty much right next to town, so you're never too far away. It's pretty rural, pretty quiet though, all in all. All in all. All right, coming up to a house with a barky, aka a dog. I've always had their gate shot, so that's good. But you know, just don't get startled around here if a dog says hello. Just be on the left there. All right, not far past Barky's place is where we turn off to get back onto the trail and cross the High Marsh River again. So it's here. What's that, Bash Basham Road? So I want to go down here. This steep little descent's testing my injured knee. So you just gotta slow down if you've got any anything worrying like worrying you like that. Another section of the Hindmarsh Trail. Now normally to complete the circuit, over here we'd go right and follow these trails back to where we started. But I'm going to poke out on the left here, probably about one kilometre up and one kilometre back because it's really pretty along that way, I wouldn't want you to miss it. So a little wet, nice wetland over here. Uh, might be able to pop up behind here and have a look at the water on it. Let's see a few ducks. Navigate the brambles! Oy. Beautiful. There they are. Yeah. Nicer in the sun. We keep going. Keep going. See these nice, nice flowers all along this trail. I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's usually people walking their dogs along this trail. It's pretty popular. <sighs> bit of a, uh, give you some bit, bit of running footage. It's just really nice to run through here. As you can see, the trail is nice and flat. No rocks, it's nice and wide. So even though it's getting dark and it's in, coming into summer, you can see snakes, good visibility, even though it's sun setting. Yeah, it's a nice little trail to run, to bike, to come and enjoy. Okay, come to a little Y intersection. So, trail continues to the left, and this way you can actually follow the road. The road goes that way, and that'll take you. Back to where we started as well, as if we just keep following the road on the right. Um, it's just a residential area next surrounding a golf course. It's pretty good. We're going to continue going through here, show you the good stuff of this Hind Marsh River Trail that's yet to come. <sighs> Not far past that uh, 
Y intersection. You can see it's just lush overgrown grass with flowers, gum trees, eucalyptus, and the river is just beyond there, about 10 meters. So yeah, it's very nice. I just gotta make sure I'm watching my footing. Sometimes watch my camera or phone. Doing this on a Motorola phone, so it's not the best for running because it'll probably be a bit shaky. But sorry about that. You gotta look out for snakes. <laughs> I haven't seen one yet on this trail and I've been running here uh, a couple years now. Probably been on this trail about a hundred times. So yeah, it's pretty good. I think you're pretty safe. Don't take it for granted, but yeah. Okay, so it's getting pretty dark. I don't have a headlamp, but I'm not too worried because as I said, just that way and the river the trail will pop out on it again. Is that residential area with the golf course surrounding it and they've got street lights so even if you're out here a bit late you know you can always find your way back onto a road with lights and suburbia so we'll keep going until it gets too dark until the footage is just trash a little bit more running footage it's a bit more densely vegetated here Nip, nip. Yeah, you better run, bud. Oh. So what this weird thing is. A little water pumpy station thing here. Maybe some sort of electricity, hydroelectricity thing? I don't know. Ah! Oh. So that's where we come from. Goes back to the road. This way, we'll go up it, even though it's really steep. Doesn't go that far. But yeah, it's only about 100 meters past this when the trail ends and we have to turn back around. Unfortunately, that'll be the end of our discovery until we get back to that bridge and we can finish that circuit. And we're up. I recommend you walk that bit. <laughs> so there's our road again. Our trail just continuing. I'll show you the end. It's just this big farm and a fence. There is a road there as well. You can get back onto the residential following this trail as well. And then just work your way around. Okay, so within 100 meters, if you come to the end of the trail, that up there's the farm I mentioned. And the end of the trail. And here, just a little section of residential. Just an off street. So, just gonna scoot up here and then come back on the trail. I'm gonna follow the residential trail and then come back onto the trail just so that if you do wanna come this way, you won't be lost. So, I'll show you, come up the street. So, coming up to Christmas here in Australia. Some people have lights out. Lucky us. Okay, coming to the end of that little street. Not ver wasn't very long. It was about 50 meters. And we get onto this main street, which will take you back. So right will take us back to that trail and ways to get on it. Even if we keep following the road, it'll come back to where we originally started as well. That road next to the start point. On um, that way, just a little hilly. Golf course just ahead, but you can go this way. It's probably the quickest way to get to shops and whatnot. There's Aldi and Coles. You just got to cut through a bit of the golf course. So you just walk through this to the end. It just goes to a dead end, but you you're fine if you just cut through the golf course. So we'll go down this way, get back on the trail, see what footage we can get. Like I said, I left it a bit late. Sun setting. It's really a nice time to run, but not good if you're on a a phone camera recording this. 
just a bit of a nice nice homes and the nice gardens I don't mind a bit of suburbia as well with my hiking running walking so a bit of both get the best, best of both worlds continuing So this is where that funky water generator thing was. This is the trail leading down there. If you can see it, down there. Oh, I wonder when my phone's gonna run out of space. It's a bit dicey, I don't have a very big capacity. So we'll see how long we can record for. It'll be a good test. This is my first video. I'm sure it'll come out all bad, but you know, you can only try. So, an inspiration to do a little YouTube video, show you around Victor Harbour, some of the running trails. Look at this one palm tree here. Just the one. Defying, defying heavy winds. I like palm trees, they're quite good. So, still coming back along that road. Uh, Next to the golf course, got a little trail that shoots off in here. That'll take us back onto Hindmarsh River Trail, if we so choose. Or as I said, you can keep following the road and come jump back on the trail whenever you want. The road just tugs the trail and there's lots of entry, exit points. So just come down, get a view. Get a view of it. As you can see, it's getting quite dark. So I'm just going to try and get back to that bridge and finish the circuit. Where does it say we are? Where does it say we are? You are somewhere. Ha, huh. we're here. Maybe. I'm not lost. I know where I am in my mind. I will show you. We'll get back to that bridge. Okay, so we're still along that road, hugging the golf course. And as you can see, we've got this little running trail next to it, so we're all good. Plenty of space to run. And come up to this bit. And this will take us back to that bridge where we can finish our circuit. It'll take us back to the Hind Marsh River Trail and to the bridge where we come off along, come off Wagoon Road. So, see this little bit here? That's where we go. And the road. We'll just continue to go around. But we're going to go this way. I'll show you. It's not a very long cut through. See, this is the wetland that we're at. So we're pretty much almost there at the bridge. Just keep, keep going through here. Now watch out for the chain, there is a chain hanging between these posts. Don't trip. Wait. Alright. Down, 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 it's getting dark, dark, dark. This is very dumb, dumb, dumb to come make a video when it's getting night time, but I'm a creature of spontaneity. And that's how I do things. Alright, alright, so we're back at the bridge. We're back at the bridge. This is the bridge. This was the signs where I showed you the wetland. So now we go this way to finish our circuit. Off we go. I'm going to be honest with you, YouTube. I'm not a fan of dogs. But this run, we haven't come across one person. Oh, yes, we have. We did see a couple of people walking their dog on the road. At least on the trail where it narrows up. We haven't come across anyone walking their dog. This has been a good run then. Because all of these dogs are off leashes and you never know what they're going to do. So... Good run. Just going under a tree with a dark canopy so it looks darker than it actually is. See, still light in the sky. We just come up a little hill to end that little section. And there's another little park over here. It's considered on the Hindmarsh River Trail. And then we won't be far away from where we started. So up, up, up. 
after this you're pretty much done your last steep incline all right follow this round <sighs> yeah now you see the path now you don't now you see the path now you don't all right so he's coming into the entry for that park there's usually a chain here so just watch out between these two bars nope it's not chained all right so we go down here all right just at the bottom of that hill we enter the park it's a nice wide track still no worries there nice open grassy area want to come and have a picnic it's usually green this grass as i said we're going into summer but still get a fair bit of rain so just run along this for a little bit looks like we're about to be oh maybe not thought we're gonna get a flyby from the glass oh maybe run away the glass are coming to get us Can you imagine if they were like piranhas? Flying piranhas. That would suck. Oh. There they go. See? I scared them off with the camera. Alright, let's keep going. Focus. Alright. So just coming towards the end of the park. It's this little section of creaky bridge to get through. Quite dark, it's quite upgrown. But yeah, I don't know, I don't mind running in the dark. Something about it, man. It's spooky. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see what what uh, amount of this footage is usable. Not only am I using a phone to record this, but it's very dark. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Hold for one second, can you see my finger? Ooh, I'm gonna try something. Just put the torch on the camera. Phone has a torch. Oh my God. We big brain, we big brain YouTube. So like I said, coming through that little bushy evergreen part of the park to finish it off. And then we'll be on the home stretch to where we started. Look how good this footage is gonna turn out. Ooh. All right, you shouldn't have to worry about cobwebs here either. I've never run into one and I come through here this time of night as well. So it's pretty good for that way. No spider webs to run into. Nice open trail underneath. All right, through this little creaky bridge. Should be right though. Wow, not much water down there. The river's just about five meters that way. And come up, 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 and out of the park. And like I said, run the home stretch. This is the road right next to where we started. So, we'll just follow this, get you back to the start location, and then you can safely navigate the Hindmarsh River Trail yourselves. So I'm going to guess it's about 200 meters from where we popped up out of that park to the start location. Uh, just a nice, again, you can't see it, I turned the light off because I'm an idiot. Just a nice flat trail next to some houses that side, the river this other side. And it should be a pretty easy run. Let's put that light back on. Let's do it live. Oh, I don't know why I turned it off. Alright. Get the traditional running YouTube video feet shot. Cruising. Probably only running about five kilometers per hour. 
Oh, that sounds too slow. No, that's about right. No. I don't know what I'm, the speed I'm running at. Five minute kilometers. Maybe that's what I meant. About my pace. Having recovery. Uh, yeah. We're just coming up about 50 meters away from where we started. And for some nice little eucalypt overhangs along the way. This footage is shocking. It's so bad, I love it. But yeah, I'll be uh, doing some more videos of Victor Harbour runs, hikes in the near future if this kind of turns out okay. Just to show you around and that will be it. Just come out into the opening. It's about 20 meters and we'll call it a video. Put, 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 put. Here it is here. Here it is. Here's where we started. Yeah. All right, good job, viewers. We made it. Well, guys. Record a video.